What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Do I coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and tonight, man, I'm going to talk about tonight's epic Sunday night game. You had the Seattle Seahawks beating the New England Patriots 35-30. to 30. Um, Before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, on um, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, I'm going to have my information for all three of them down in the description box. Um, I don't always get a chance to respond to every comment on here. Um, so if y'all want to DM me and ask me questions, tell me anything, uh, feel free to do so. And when I get a chance, I'll holler back at you, yo. Uh, so come holler at your boy, yo. Man, what a football game, man. Um, Really, really entertaining. Um, A lot of fun. Um, Just good old-fashioned football, man, with two quarterbacks, man. Um, Just really going at each other. Um, putting on a show, um, and it came down to the end, man. Um, Seattle with a great defensive play. Um, New England went to their bread and butter, you know, running cam basically in a power sweep. Um, but Seattle blew it up, <laughs> you know. They blew up the the O line. They blew up the fullback. Um, and they hit Cam in the back for um a two yard loss. You know, you could arguably make the play like, why go to that play? You know, it's so predictable. Seattle knew it was coming, but then at the same time, I mean. That's their best play, you know, in that situation. So, um, you know, you just got to give Seattle credit, man. The big homie, Jamal Adams, LSU Tiger coming through, man, and just making some spectacular plays, um, some spectacular hits um, down the stretch, man, and really being a real, real strong, solid leader for that defense, man. Looking like that trade Seattle made to get him was absolutely well worth it so far. Um, but, man, Russell Wilson, man, um... <laughs> Five touchdown passes tonight, yo. Um, absolutely look amazing. Right now, I know it's only week two, but after two weeks, you he got to be the MVP of the league right now. He's the, the first two weeks of the season MVP. Um, me personally, as an Eagle fan, I need him to have a performance like that next week to take down the Cowboys. Um, and man, another player, man. Um, obviously Tyler Lockett looked as solid. The running backs, but man, DK Metcalf, yo. When I watch this guy play, I just cannot fathom how <laughs> Eagles GM Howie Roseman really thought that J.J. Ortega Whiteside was worthy of a higher draft pick than D.K. Metcalf. J.J. Ortega Whiteside, of course, today for my Eagles, had another game without even having a catch today. And D.K. Metcalf is slowly becoming a star in this in this league, man. Um. You got to think about it, man. He went up against the defensive player of the year in Stephon Gilmore, and he got at him. Like, he had, what, what 94 yards receiving and a touchdown, man. Um, Gilmore had problems with him today. So um, shout out to him, man, for doing his thing and, and turning himself into a very, very, very good wide receiver in just year or two in just a couple of games, yo. Um, and for the Patriots, man, um, you know – you know, it's a it's a it's a gutsy loss, man, a tough loss, but I feel like they have nothing to hang their head or head down on, man. Um you're on the road on the West Coast against a very, very good football team, and you just come up a little short, man. But um Cam Newton had a very, very good game tonight, man. Um, you know, and he darn near pulled that thing off. <laughs> you know. Um Julian Edelman had a career high tonight in receiving yards. Um, you know, also real quick, man, um, Prayers to James White, man, and his family, man. Um, look like he's his uh he had lost his dad today, and his mom is in critical condition, man, from a car accident, man. Um, real, real, real heartbreaking stuff, man. Um, so prayers to him and his family, man. Just a very, very sad situation, man. And hate and hate, you know, hate to see that happen, you know, to anybody, man. Um, whether I know this person or not. Um, so prayers to him and his family, man. Um. But uh yeah, man. Um, you know, New England is, is still a good team, man. Without Tom Brady, they're still gonna be a very good team. I think Cam Newton, you know, even though in a loss, I think has proved tonight that, you know, he's a, a very he's still that guy, man. He's still a very, very capable, you know, quarterback. Um, and not only is he running the ball very effectively, but I mean, man, um, he's throwing it. Like Cam Newton is really throwing the football really well right now, also, man. Um just big shout out to him, man. Um, but overall, a great football game, man. Um, two quarterbacks doing their thing. 
Um, two teams looking like real contenders in this league. Um, it's really, it was just really entertaining and fun to watch, yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.